Okay, so good evening everybody. I'm just going to quickly make sure that everything is appropriately posted. Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are playing another one of uh, the early access games that I've been really, really getting into lately. And we are looking at the Universin today. So I've just updated this to the latest on the experimental branch where there is some new and exciting features. So we're going to start a completely fresh game and we're going to see where things go from here. And we might need to turn the volume down slightly, but we will actually let the game load first. Wake up. Wake up, creator. This is the beginning of your story. It starts with nothing. nothing I do like the, but this is a true story. story. However, you, with a single touch, can awaken the light. Let there be light. And so the universe sprang into being. Worlds filled with endless potential were scattered into the beyond. They formed into many different shapes and sizes. And while most were doomed to drift among the cosmos barren Four planets. Alone, others flourished. These few planets soon became home to the greatest phenomenon of all. Life. Tiny weird Life squirrel creatures. It's a peculiar thing. It comes and goes as swiftly as a bit of space debris burning up in an atmosphere. <sighs> A creator's purpose was always that of an observer, to simply admire the fleeting beauty of life's beginnings and ends. Yet, this balance could never last. The issue with allowing a species to evolve independently is that they always fail to do so. Yeah, that's definitely true here. To have a better chance of succeeding, it needs a helping hand. Ah, here we are. Welcome to Mother Planet. This is a fair sight. For it came to be that there was day and night. Warmth and cold. And water to flow through the planet's veins. The soil was rich with minerals, which gave rise to a thick blanket of green. The perfect ecosystem was formed. It is no wonder, then, why life has chosen to inhabit it. A new species has been born, and they need guidance. This is your purpose now. Their very existence rests in your hands. Okay. So that is how life begins in Mother Planet. So the first thing we need to do is work out where we want to actually center our civilization. So you kind of need a whole bunch of different terrains. So this looks like a good place here. Take a look at your new subjects. They're called nuggets. 
largely because of the body's apparent inability to keep itself in one piece. So nuggets Had are very strange. Architects of their species. They are the founders of everything that nuggets will ever know or achieve. Okay. They now know how to use primitive tools. So there is a complete tech system. So the first thing I think we want to do is we need to get... Actually, we need to get the well first. And then we can get a water wheel. So as the civilization evolves, you will find that various things are necessary just to, to keep everyone alive. Honestly. So we've got some desert, we've got some forest. This is hopefully plains nearby here as well. So we've got a few... Oh, we've got mountain. Uh, we only have a little bit of water, unfortunately. But, you know, this should do. So let's just go ahead and stick a water pit in. There's also a bunch of powers that we will start getting to shortly. It takes a little bit to properly pick up this game, but you get past the first sort of few minutes of it and it's generally pretty worth it. It gets uh, a lot more complicated. I'm actually also just going to have a quick look across here and see if there's anything interesting that we can do. Ooh, okay. So there's some more modern stuff in than I've seen before. Aha! We can unlock the cloning center. Still early access. There are still some typos, but I think you can forgive a few typos in uh, a game that's generally this good. Ooh! There's actually a marker for things like remaining oil now. And remaining gas. Oxygen level. This is quite exciting, this is actually. A There's a uh... beautiful planet. Try not to ruin it, will you? Uh, I am, however, going to speed it up because this game can uh, be a little bit slow. And occasionally you have these. Uh, Little things that followers discover for you as you go through. Once we get the latest bit of research peer-reviewed, verify its references, check with the ethics committee, and <laughs> I'm just... Okay. Ooh, we need to scroll all the way back again. Um, fire... We... Yeah, okay. We get fire, fishing, and primitive cooking. Combination. Uh, and then start upgrading the wells to just support <laughs> I just a little bit more. That latest message. It's a real hoot. Oh wait, maybe they could actually use some help. For this time being, let's just stick in a couple of water pumps. So that's going to actually start supporting some more stuff. Um. <laughs> uh. Subtle references to pregnancy there. Uh, I'm on it. I didn't think you knew anything about reproduction, creator. So Nuggets here we start having uh, use of powers. So we want to use Lucupidon. Water, a stable roof over their heads, and an occasional nap. They want to learn, build, discover. Eight. It would all be quite inspirational if they also didn't happen to be the species that initially thought their shadows were trying to eat them. The summer sun is excellent for slow roasting a few nuggets. I couldn't possibly imagine a better cup. There we go. So now it's actually triggered the end of that one. And you'll see we now have two believers. So as you start getting believers, you will also start generating these creator points uh, faster. Which is useful for actually being able to use powers. Just 
need to adjust my microphone slightly. Okay. And, you know, you get these slightly strange bouncing hut effects sometimes. So what do we currently have? Lucupidon, Rejuvenate, Telekinesis. A little baby nugget. Aren't they adorable when they're young? Don't get too attached, though. They're still mortal after all. Okay. Plus, they will soon be so, old enough to have an opinion. And they want us to name life decisions. Let's see how much you like them then. I think you are actually allowed to just just rename them or just leave their names the same. Okay, fine. So yeah, that does count. So up here you've got a total number of nuggets. The ones on the right are too young to actually be of any use yet. So we've still only got two people who can do real work, but you know, two is still more than zero. For the time being, we just need to wait for things like research to finish. And then we can see uh, see where we're going. And you can kind of see now as well why it does take a, a little while for this game to actually pick up. Uh... When you only have two people doing all of the work. But, at the moment at least, everybody believes in us. We have high happiness and almost no crime. In fact, we have no crime. We could do with having slightly more happiness, though. We will see. I mean, we might be able to... Uh, Generate some oh, more a little weak creator. lies. We are strong. Oh, we're doing this again, are we? So you can use telekinesis basically to pick up building resources and. Pardon me, you can uh, bootstrap construction a little bit. So you can also see as nuggets move around, they start generating little roads that uh, that they're all going to follow. Fish are an amazing source of omega-3, which will help grow your nuggets' brains. You should give it a go too. This Remember, kids, have a healthy, balanced diet. For such a young civilization, I mean, sure, it's built out of rocks, wood, and a bit of string, but impressive nonetheless. Yeah. It is a giant stone wheel to pump water, which seems impractical at best by modern standards. Some panda brain plums, juicy acorns, crystalline crab apples. These will all become relevant a little bit later on. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Oh, we are going to need an archive. So, one thing about this game, uh, you can't just save. You have to build the archive and have somebody work there to be able to save. Building the archive and having someone work there also enables auto-saving, though. So, you know, it's a useful thing to have. So 
So Stone is the brunette there. Love is in the air. Just to try and uh, kickstart the uh, population a little bit, I thought if we force that uh, pairing up, then we can start getting some more children in a little bit faster. This should actually also generate another quest for us shortly. So there's usually, it, about now, it will um, tell you about using telekinesis. So typically the game works by uh, kind of giving you the tutorial partially through those annoying hint pop-ups I turned off earlier but partly through actually just playing the game. You'll find it will give you quests to use a certain power or do something else uh, just to get you used to how it works. Okay, where can we fit an eatery? Look at all of those colors. Isn't fall beautiful? Someone should really make a painting before you leave the planet to ruin. We might not destroy everything. Be nice. So at the moment, we are able to supply them with water. We're about to start supplying them with raw food. And then the purpose of the eatery is obviously that it will uh, let them start cooking and providing meals and drinks. So you can see how, honestly, quite quickly they will all become sort of self-sufficient. And, and in fact, later on, you can uh, get them to automatically manage their jobs as well, but... That's uh, a bit further on in terms of the the societal development of the civilization. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, if you ever have a huge place that uh, is hard to find things, all of these links actually work quite nicely if you don't mind it zooming right in. They'll do a splendid job so long as they stay away from fire. I mean, they're going to get in a boat. I guess, yeah, okay, boats can still catch fire. Oh, fair enough. I take it back. Chevalbo! Hello. You do not believe in me. Uh, Jolt of Joy. Now you believe in me. So early on, I tend to like just trying to make sure that all of the nuggets we have have faith uh, for the purposes of keeping everyone happy and keeping creator PowerPoint generation up. Because later on, it starts becoming a lot more useful when you start getting the ability to do things like uh, automatically change the seasons or anything like that. Cook faster and don't need to eat as much. Uh, actually, let's um, let's see how this goes. Get reservoirs first, just so that we can start stockpiling water over winter. Which is uh, probably not so useful right now, uh, but it will be, for example, once the eatery is ready um, and once we start having uh, sort of more buildings that actually put a drain on water resources. Wells don't seem to for some I can reason. Hear water pumps grinding to an icy halt, creator. It's all up to the reservoirs now. 
we're using two water. Okay, so actually maybe these do use it now. They never used to, but good things to learn. Chevalbo. Okie dokie. So... I'm not sure why they haven't finished building this hut yet. I might just, uh... Give so them a tree. Uprooted a tree. Now what? Yep. Yeah. There's plenty of things going to be around for them to do. Apparently temples are important to Nuggets. Also, some of these things don't really make sense, but give you some great mental images. Stick discovered wooden bowls climbing a mammoth. Because how else are you going to discover how what a bowl is, right? Stick in a few reservoirs up here. So, two trees and two rocks. But also, this should be enough to, uh, if we can get it built, get the nuggets through winter quite easily. Thing about the water situation or oh okay watching your civilization suffer it's Not the fishing pier uses water curious. yeah okay that makes I'm not sure that makes more sense but the first snow of winter has fallen I hope you have a nice so, uh, yeah, this whole thing is a way of finding out how best to get creator points, basically. So typically, I will try and get the nuggets to just like us. But you learn everything in time, on your own, without bothering me. And the really sarky narrator. Um... <laughs> Hold on, toolkit. Okay. So, you have to get here, really, to advance the tech any further back here. Yeah, it all needs... Uh... So, I'm going to focus on getting the ability to have... Uh... Witch doctors, to who will act as doctors in the early, uh, the early stages of the game, because you know sometimes nuggets will invent a ladder to fall off, or you know do other silly things, or sometimes just decide to drink from the lake and get sick. But
And there's probably not much point prioritizing this reservoir because we do not generate any water in winter. At the minute, it's only the fishing pier that needs it, and that doesn't work in winter anyway. There are buildings in awful condition around the civilization. Such a pity. This used Can to be we... a nice neighborhood. Okay. So once we get the older one toolkit, we can uh, get some engineers in place to to help fix things. Hopefully before this hut falls apart. How long is this going to take? Yeah, uh, four thirty. Yeah, uh, okay. We'll just leave it and see how it goes. Construction on the reservoir has been completed. With its convenient, like, water level marking system that... I'm not sure if that's supposed to be glass or what in there, but... I'm pretty sure they haven't invented that yet. Almost like you can't even tell there was water there. Are designed to do work for you, right? Ooh, so we can. Why aren't you assigning them to buildings? Assign a nugget to this building, then. It's not difficult. Oh, also we need to assign one to this other fishing pier. Good to see you fighting the unemployment rate. I can't say I'm a fan of nugget delicacies, but it should keep everyone relatively alive and happy. They do seem to be interesting beverages, though. Uh, apologies. So, eateries really use water. But, you know, once winter is over, then uh, we'll actually start getting some more water in again and actually filling up this reservoir as well, so... Next winter won't be so much of a problem. But now we just need to wait for this toolkit and uh, get some nuggets working on um, fixing everything. Drinking the brown, filth-infested lake water is less trouble than walking all the way to a well. You may want to consider building a few more, creator. Ding ding, another message coming through. Where are you? Are you this one? That'll fix them right up. Okay, I did not even see that quest message come in. Okay, so there is a slight glitch in which things unlock, because that was supposed to have unlocked this one. Not this one. I'm going out for some groceries. Can I get you anything? I'm good, thanks. Just, you know, we're going to chill and uh, see what happens. Oh. Yeah, so in order to upgrade something, they always have to tear it down first, just completely.
why that's the case, I have honestly got no idea. Only 40 seconds until the older one toolkit. Calendar starts to get quite useful as well. You uh, get to build a forecast tower that actually lets you see what the seasons are going to look like for the next year. And, you know, accurately as well. It's much better than real life uh, weather forecasting. Here we go. At least one of the pumps is working again. And you can see we're actually now stocking up on water. Uh, engineers is what we want. And put a rush on that. I'm even going to help you out because it's so important. So I actually still don't really know if this prioritize button works, but you know, we'll find out. You do get to see some interesting things, like... Yeah, there is slowly some water filling up this reservoir. Barborian! Is that what our city is called? Yep. Oh, the hut fell apart. Oops. Okay, so this is the too kind for this world creator. Oh, telekinesis well, I the heart. It'll give you some time to practice your powers while that nugget lays in a hammock sipping a mojito. Also impressive that they've already invented mojitos. These nuggets are truly precocious. So yeah, these will hold quite a lot of water, but at least at this stage of nugget development, 120,000 units of water, probably going to get us through winter. Yeah, okay. So, we're starting to, uh, starting to actually get some stuff built up. We've got cooking, we've got drinks. Still waiting on shamanism so we can get a hospital in place, but... Oh, there we go. As she says it. Spring is chasing the cold away. Now, if only we could also get rid of that smell around your civilization. My civilization doesn't smell. Be nice about them. Okay, yeah, so they bring the fish in, gut the fish to turn it into raw food. Ship the raw food up here, where it will be turned into meals. Uh, 
Oh, we got another thing. <gasps> find the lost nugget. I hope you find more than just bones, creator. Every nugget counts. Oh. So for this quest, you will always find these three wolfy things uh, surrounding the child. Can someone please get that nugget a fresh pair of underwear? Also, when you're carrying nuggets, be careful you don't accidentally throw them. Uh, that hurts nuggets often. And there's the Cupidon Park. <laughs> See, we're uh, certainly on our way to filling the first reservoir now. going to help finish this and then we can actually get an engineer assigned to keep all of the buildings standing and not lose any more huts Put that menu away. That's the hospital. Oh, we've started to build houses all the way up here now. So you can see how quickly the uh, the city will actually spread. And hopefully they're not filling up this area too much with huts. I want this for mines later. Okay, everybody still believes in us. This is good. Oh, and they like us slightly more now. That's nice, I guess. So the eatery encourages crime. And this all needs processed stuff, so we can't uh, actually build any of this just yet. And quite a lot of water, actually. So I discovered a little while ago that nuggets actually get upset if they have to walk past a cemetery. So, uh, worth putting the cemetery in, but put it a little way away from, uh, from most of the buildings. Okay. And now we have an engineer. They should actually start taking care of things like this collapsing water pump. You shouldn't be building. You're an engineer. Which stone hut? Okay. I heard that one asking around about work benefits. They're going to be quite disappointed. Okay, the engineer has now worked out they're an engineer. Weaving nuggets get to carry more. I hope all of these sparkly buttons aren't making you dizzy, creator. A fickle mind can easily be overwhelmed. The fools don't get married.
So the stone club is very good for repairing buildings. Look how quickly it repairs things. Why did we ever develop tools? Anyway, everything is now going to hold together. Oh, we've got two stone huts up here now. Exciting. To help people actually do their building work. Having a central place to actually store all your resources, also often useful. I hope you've been working on your beach body. You're not going to spend another summer just lazing around, are you? Yeah, basically. I'm going to laze as much as I want to. So we've got at least, oh, four families now are able to actually start making baby nuggets. Nuggets, if you will. It's at least somebody working on the cemetery. So while our nuggets are doing stuff, I'm just going to quickly show off some of the fun things. So, the day-night cycle actually works like it's a planet. So while it's nighttime on one side, it's actually daytime on the other. And you can even see sort of blurring as you get more towards the night side. Uh, there's even a sun somewhere. So there, there are a few just sort of nice touches like this uh, and if you still have a very small civilization it's really easy to get lost when you're just flicking around the planet uh, okay let's just use the links to jump back it's a cactus it's too warm water is now actually evaporating out of our reservoirs. And we might actually be starting to need more water pumps already, which is, you know, fine. You also find that as you develop your civilization and you get sort of more advanced technologies and upgrade water pumps, you go from needing sort of like eight or ten water pumps to needing like three because each one produces so much water now it's unbelievable. Also I do quite like this message about the uh, they've just been born and have no idea what they're getting into. So it kind of puts me in mind of the uh, research you're feeding into your civilization creator they uh might soon become smarter than you. Oh, they probably are already. Um, it reminds me of the lawsuit that happened uh, relatively recently about uh, that person who was suing their parents because they were conceived without their consent or something, which is, um, I think, an interesting legal argument to try and make. That's just jolt of joy. Yep. And convert that last unbelieving heretic. Yeah. 
So yes, the idea here is now we can uh, we have a doctor going to look after sick nuggets. We have a chef who's going to make sure there's food and drink. We're storing water. We have an archivist who's going to save the game. We've got fishermen. We've got at least one engineer. We might actually need a second engineer soon, looking at this. In fact, we do, because the cemetery is outside of the uh, effective range. So let's... Just put in another engineer over here. And at least that's also helping prepare for expansion a little bit. Yeah, no one started on these water pumps yet, but that's not too important just yet. I just like to try and make sure that we can fill all of these reservoirs as soon as... Wow, no wonder things have been evaporating. I just realised we were up to like 45 degrees. That's, um... That's a warm day. Although as we are now getting more nuggets, we do definitely need... At least the one extra well, just to uh, try and take some of the burden off the uh, the water supply. Otherwise, you end up with nuggets that are going to drink from the lake because they need water, and then ah, they start the getting everyone life. ill. It is truly, truly disgusting. That it is. Okay. Oh. Also, once you get to a certain point in your civilization, they will actually start going for elections to see who's going to run society. Now, you don't actually get to choose, particularly. But you do get to um, nudge them in a certain direction. So I think I'm going to advocate for the one who's proposing elderly assisted living. That seems like the uh, the best one for us. At least at this point. Just make sure that any new nuggets still share the faith. So yeah, we've got plus 10% chance for twins, bonus research speed, bonus point generation. We do quite well when everyone's happy. Also, I do like the sort of water effects and things that you can get uh, showing up on the screen at various points. It's, it's See, for something that is still early access, there's a couple of just really nice touches that you don't always think about. But, yeah, it, it's just nice, honestly. And I can see us needing another well up here soon. Uh, not another well, another engineers up here soon. Actually, I guess, and another well, but... Let's, uh... Just start preparing. Okay. Agriculture and hunting. 
So these will actually, as the name suggests, uh, give us more ways to start producing food than just trying to feed our nuggets raw fish. Ah, the cemetery is complete. Now, in case any nuggets actually die, they're, uh... They're not going to be just stinking up the place. Yes, you're an archivist. <laughs> so all the reservoirs are done. Working on warehouses. Yeah, we're starting to make some real progress here now. So unfortunately we don't have enough creator points, but you can boost happiness by having a celebration whenever someone gets elected. Nuggets don't overreact to the falling leaves this yeah. year. I see tinge to the wind. Yeah. I mean, oh, we've actually completely filled up the first reservoir. We're now working on the next one. Which is going to speed up a bit once we finish building the additional water pumps. And, uh... Yeah, that's... <laughs> Oh, lightning storms. Thankfully, I don't think those actually do anything dangerous just yet. Uh, they might do eventually, though, so... Uh... Oh, that's a hospital. That's a warehouse. So you can start seeing the things that we're actually... Uh, we're actually collecting and stocking up on now. Ah, agriculture. So this starts to become a much more uh, useful thing now. Because you can start getting some farms set up. And you'll see as you try and place them that they can exist in different biomes. And different biomes will let you grow different, oh, uh, different I crops. I see you are finally taking interest in your civilization's need to eat. Guess it's time to take starving to death off the list of anticipated disasters for now. So I'm just going to set this up so we've got two in grassland and two in forest. Which should be enough to give some variety of food. Hopefully increase happiness a little bit. I'm not sure if that actually does do that, but, you know, it's worth a try. Maybe that's too much time spent playing Stronghold. And yeah, we're down a few people on the old uh, belief system. Hmm. Still only got 15 out of 19, which isn't great. 
But, you know, we'll see. While frozen lakes are fun to skate on, creator, they also prevent water pumps from working. Yeah. So this is where we start becoming particularly glad that we, uh, we do have those reservoirs. Storage for all our resources. Yeah, we might end up needing another eatery at some point soon, but we'll see how that one goes. Ah, good. We're actually starting finally to um, to get some more water pumps in place. My pointy sticks while researching hunting is actually, you know, a relatively sensible one. Say relatively, it's a very sensible one. Those pointy sticks come in handy when hunting. Still need the forecast tower to get built. Also, still need to convert the unbelievers. Those darn darn believers. Oh, let's uh just research everything up there. So once we unlock uh, uh yeah, words. Once we get the material refinement, you kind of unlock everything back here as well. So we'll start uh, being able to upgrade wells uh, and reservoirs. In fact, I think you then also start being able to upgrade things like the eatery into a restaurant. You get to upgrade the hospital properly, in well, into an actual hospital. Uh, and improve fishing. So, like I say, we'll just sort of work around this for a little bit. Oh, also, the Hunter's Hut increases crime, which is annoying. But I guess all those trained killers are going to do something with their skills, so... Excellent, so... We're going to be generating a lot more water again in the uh, the new year. Did you know that okay. snow isn't white? It's an illusion, a simple trick. You can go ahead and take a closer look. I actually was slightly concerned for a moment that that was going to go into a whole yellow I'm snow thing. One of your nuggets has passed away. Death can happen so suddenly. Well, However, one of our first nuggets has died. Not necessarily mean the end of everything. It was simply their time to go. Don't blame yourself, creator. Well, oh, unless yeah. you're actually responsible, I wasn't paying attention. The giant skull was oh, a no. clue. Oh dear! Oh, oh my! How unfortunate, creator! It appears you are to be terminated. Hold on. Uh, never mind. Wrong envelope. You have a new message. Okay. Clear infection. And 
There we go. So it's just to uh, stop any of the other nuggets getting ill from uh, from anything that's going on around there. So you can see we're already struggling to uh, keep up with all of the nuggets a little bit now. We've got 23 nuggets, even with the one who's dead, and uh, only 20 believers. Ooh, the engineers is done. I'm going to assign someone in there. Uh, these ones are not. So you'll notice every so often as well, you'll get sort of flags show up on the uh, buildings. So you get things like the little snowflake to say that the building can't work because it's too cold. You'll get one that shows up to say there's no workers, there's no food, there's no water. Uh, there's also a green tick thing that will show that it can actually be upgraded. So yeah, I think this is the we need raw food. Yeah. So there's plenty of actual meals, but uh, not enough raw food. Obviously at the moment, because all our raw food comes from fishing piers. Uh, although we've actually got quite a lot of raw food stockpiled, so, you know, they should probably be doing something with that. Got another stone hut built. See, we're starting to actually move along at a reasonable pace now. And now spring's here, so we're starting to actually get water again. Just as everything warms up. So you can see, even with only the sort of 40 odd thousand units of water, we had plenty to get through winter. Uh, okay. Now, watchtowers are also worth building as soon as you can, because they help defend against attack when uh, attacks actually start happening, but they also help reduce crime. So as your civilization grows and you actually start having criminals, uh, having a series of watchtowers around the place is uh, often a useful thing to have. And just like with things like the engineers, you get to see their effective range as you place them. So you can kind of effectively mark out an area for expansion. Of course, we do also need to make sure that all of these are covered by engineers. Which they do mostly seem to be, actually. Probably a couple up here. Uh, no, actually they are inside. So I think, completely by accident, they're actually... Uh, <laughs> they are actually all covered by engineers already. Okay, so yeah, here's the we need a worker. Uh, that nugget looks remarkably unqualified. But yeah, probably. Determined to convert all of the heathens.
So this configuration here is also interesting. So later on, you actually will also get to upgrade, well, you get to upgrade, uh, the Nuggets will actually upgrade their dwellings to more modern styles of building. And as they do, you will actually see different, uh, different sets of buildings show up based on how many huts you have in a cluster. So this will turn into the biggest building, I think, that you can actually have. This sort of little grouping of four. Let's sign a nugget in there. Do we should be able to upgrade the eatery, shouldn't we? Or oh no, we haven't done the material refinement yet. Sure. And then, you know, more nuggets getting a bit frisky. Having themselves some fun. I'm sure I could have said that in a creepier way, but I'm not entirely sure how. We're slowly starting to catch up on nuggets. So we've got 21 out of 25 now. I might actually stop and start saving power points because if we get to 60 we can actually just skip over this unpleasant looking winter. Which is also a reasonable way to uh, get believers. It turns out people start believing in your power if you just change the time of year. So I'm curious what people think. It would be interesting to have uh, a stream of classic Stronghold games. So I feel like those are games that don't get enough love these days. Farms do take a lot of resources, but they're worth it. They will also actually give... Um... So there's a special quest that you get to, uh, to find a new type of um, crop. But I think there's actually also an achievement if you manage to find all of them. Okay, material refinement. Yeah, so the the sort of the the back text don't unlock properly uh, preemptively, uh, which is not a huge issue, but it's kind of weird because you you sort of expect them to uh, to just work, so to speak. Always good to know. Things are heating up. Usually it gives you some snarky message about, you know, you really shouldn't watch them doing that. Okay. To sign a farm. A message for you, creator. I'm beginning so. to feel that nuggets have the wrong address. Do they really think you can solve these problems? Yeah, so here we go. They want to uh, eat something other than bloody diarrhea fruit. So, the next thing is, can we find them something? Uh, yeah. Ah. 
We could if uh, I realised that I hadn't selected the power, I thought. So we'll give them a crystalline crab apple. If we can get the... Uh... Okay, there we go. So, yeah, you can see the uh, growth time is the same, but it produces five times as much food. So we will uh, switch to having crystalline crab apples in this farm. Oh, another farm is operational. Oh, a forest farm. How exciting. So you will also have a, a thing here just to indicate that you probably shouldn't try and grow those there. Uh, but that's okay. What we should then be able to do is grow juicy acorns. Oh, I see. So yeah, it's actually... Uh, things take much longer to grow in the wrong biome. It's good to know. Well, the second of our nuggets has finally died. I know other nuggets have died, but both of our original nuggets are now dead. It's a race. Which one will be ready first? Uh, dragon egg fruit, that's a new crop. And as long as we've actually got some uh, power points at the moment. Might as well uh, make use of them. That's the watchtower. And a brain plum. Oh, panda brain plum is supposed to grow in the desert. Dragon egg fruit in the mountain. Manbro fruit. Ah, uh, here we go. Devil's, hurt, uh, Devil's Lettuce is what I was looking for. So what you can then do is actually specifically grow herbs that your shamans can use to... Um... Have Nuggets invented omelettes yet, creator? No? Well, you can only do so much. Oh, another farm is ready. Okay. Let's... Yeah, so we'll uh, grow more acorns here, because these seem to produce lots of food. And then we can use this last farm here to... Uh, to grow some herbs. And then, uh... Actually... <laughs> We have a lot of medicine at the moment. But, you know, it never hurts to make sure you've got plenty of herbs on hand. Now we start researching all of the, uh, the text to enhance things like wells and... Okay. Also add in the refineries. If we stick in some of these just next to the warehouses. Uh, so that's stone refinery. And then wood refinery. 
So this might seem like a lot, but I have found in the past that uh, you often do need uh, a lot of refinery capacity just to turn all of these raw things into processed resources that you can actually use. And we should have plenty of... Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, plenty of power points to skip over winter when it comes to that. It's getting a bit chilly in here. Winter is coming, creator. It is, but, you know, we'll uh, at least get through autumn first, and then skip winter. Put those summer bodies away. They're not allowed. A watchtower will certainly be useful, but I'm just picturing the downfall of your civilization being a bit of fog. Another nice touch there. If you have the camera zoomed in and try and move through a cliff, you bounce off it. Which is really annoying, but I kind of find it impossible to get upset by it because it's... It's so nice as, like, an immersive quality of this game. It's, uh... Yeah, it, it's... Things like that that make games worthwhile. A few reservoirs, creator? If not, trying to survive winter with your pumps frozen solid will probably convince you to. Yes, thankfully we were prepared for that. So here we go, we can now upgrade this eatery. But this is going to require the uh, refined wood and stone. So it's... This is where we really do need to uh, get these refineries built up. Another nugget believes in us. Excellent. More watchtowers. So yeah, the uh, the watchtowers will, like I say, help both defend us and uh, keep crime down as the civilization grows. And now we've got these farms as well. We should end up with... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, we're generating quite a lot of raw food. Might actually... Uh, add an additional restaurant, even. Food preservation. What did that actually give us, if anything? Okay, yeah, eatery food capacity goes up. But also our wells supporting more water and refilling faster is generally useful because we don't need quite so many wells that way. Winter is here, creator. I have a great survival tip for you. Hmm. Where, where did I put it? I'll get back to you. Okay. Oh, it's saving. There we go. Uh, so what we want is a season change to spring. 
And now all these nuggets have little confused symbols up over them as they try and work out what's happening. Wolves are attacking your civilization, creator. Are you planning on doing anything, or are you just going to watch the show? Now, are they actually, or are you just telling us this? And if they are, where are they attacking? Because I will telekinesis those wolves into the ocean. Uh, no, they died due to old age, not due to animal attack. So overall, I'm not 100% convinced we're actually being attacked. So in the meantime, I'm actually just going to... Uh... I hope you'll perform eye tests before assigning nuggets to the new watchtower, creator. Oh, somebody's actually finally injured themselves. Given that we actually have a lot of spare power at the moment, I'm just going to uh, cheaty heal them. Anything else we can upgrade yet? Uh, we can't upgrade the hospital just yet. We need the yeah the funerary practices. Is that cemetery? Okay, let's upgrade the cemetery. Which one lets you upgrade the hospital? I can't remember now. That's embarrassing. Oh well. I'm sure it will all be fine. Oh yeah, that's the one that I think is... Oh no, okay, maybe that one is actually just outside. Fine, I'll build another engineer's here. Oh, watchtower is complete. But if nothing else, we should at least be very safe from crime. Watchtowers do affect happiness, but yeah, you know. Okay. So. As it stands, I think it's fair to say we've been going for uh, a reasonable length of time right now. So what I'm actually just going to do is... Aha, uh, we'll be remembered. Is give this a save here. And uh, with that, I'm going to say we're done for tonight. So... Thank you as ever for joining me, and uh, yeah, stay tuned to find out what game we're going to have a look at tomorrow night. Bye for now.